Hello, it is World Health Day today. Health. Fortuitously, one of the prompts for VEDA today is... Good. Health. So, I thought that I would tell you a little bit about how I was sick for like almost four weeks in Mexico when we were visiting my parents, which was why a bunch of our videos from those four weeks were more phoned in than at other times, I guess you could say. I was basically in bed for three weeks. I came down with something right after we got to Mexico, the very beginning of March. I couldn't really lay down because it would make me start coughing like crazy. I couldn't talk because it would make me start coughing like crazy. I had a fever for about 12 days. There was something going around there. It was kind of like a flu-ish type thing but then it just kept dragging out more and more. There are pharmacies on basically every corner in Mexico. In a bunch of pharmacies, they have like a little teeny tiny doctor's office attached to it and you can just go to that doctor for about $10. They'll check you out, sort of, and prescribe something to you. So I went and did that and the guy was like, oh, it sounds like an infection. So he gave me some antibiotics and also some cough medicine. I can't help thinking that the antibiotics probably made it worse and prolonged the situation. Like, it might have just been a virus. The antibiotics attacked my immune system or whatever and just made everything worse. Because I definitely didn't feel like it helped at all. And it definitely got worse after that. I mean, maybe it was gonna get worse anyway. I don't to the point where I was kind of having trouble breathing. The cough medicine that he gave me apparently has something in it that makes your heart beat faster. So that didn't help either. I had a really bad night one night and I basically couldn't sleep. And so I was really dreading the next night. We ended up deciding to just go to the hospital. I had been really trying to avoid going to the hospital in Mexico. For one thing, I didn't want someone to just prescribe me something, which that other doctor had done. We ended up going to a private hospital. When we got into the room, I looked around and I was kind of like, there were two bed options in the room. They were like examining rooms. They both had cloth sheets on them. I'm going to hope that they get changed once a day at least. I don't know. I kind of looked at both beds and decided which one seemed a little bit less shady than the other one. Well, I told you to go sit on the other The other one to me looked like it was, there was nowhere on the bed that looked sort of clean. It had like a bunch of spots. It looked like stains, I don't know. On the other bed, there was at least a place in the middle that looked cleanish, but on the one side there were like blood splatters, kind of, and some other stuff, other unidentified stuff. It wasn't like it was fresh. Yeah, great, not, not as mean, fresh. It was dry. So I sat down in the middle-ish area, and I was really trying not to sit on the hair that was on the other side. I didn't really want to touch it either, which makes me sound kind of pansy, but like, if you would have seen the room, you would understand. It wasn't clean. There were old gloves just sitting there. It was an experience. So I didn't have a whole lot of confidence going into it. That was one of the other reasons I didn't want to go to the hospitals because I was kind of concerned about catching something at the hospital. The equipment that they pulled out made me feel like maybe my dad should have brought <laughs> his equipment from home because his was way newer. He's a paramedic. They asked a couple questions, but everything was in Spanish, so it was going through my dad and David, and I had tons of symptoms and stuff that he asked me about, and I don't know if David even really knew everything. I just felt uncomfortable. So they ran a couple really simple tests on me. The doctor ended up prescribing some sort of a shot that was supposed to open up my airways, and also some cough medicine, and then also some anti-inflammatory pills that also helped take down fever and stuff. They sent my dad to go get the medicine at the pharmacy which was in the hospital. And then he had to bring the medicine back and they gave me the shot there in my butt, which I don't think I've ever had before. I'm okay with shots, I just can't look at them. Then as we were leaving the room and leaving the hospital, I realized that I was hearing a typewriter. The receptionist lady was using a typewriter. That made me even less confident. <laughs> so over the next couple days, my dad gave me the shots in my butt. So that was, that was another experience. And slowly, 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 I finally got better. And poor David was having to take care of the kids mostly and largely take care of the videos also. And I was just doing the editing. Thank God she is better, woo! Basically, this whole winter has been really weird for us as far as getting sick. We have bought more medicine this winter than we've ever bought in the 10 years of being married. Our family in general has been sick more this winter for in the past four months than we have been 
since being a family. So thank God normally we are pretty healthy. Really, actually very healthy. What kind of stuff do you do for health? Stay healthy.